Hello everybody, dudes and slackers, lovers and haters, it's me, Spiral6, around here for another episode of our Hardcore series. Yeah, that's right. And this time, we're gonna level up a bit. Remember last episode when we made that masterpiece right behind me? The palm tree... Yeah, we're gonna work some more on our base. But before we do anything cool with our base, as you can see, I'm struggling a bit with my gear, right? It's a pretty pathetic situation. Still rocking full iron armor. I have diamonds, okay? Where are they? Where? Where? Here. I've got diamonds to upgrade my armor a bit, but what I really want to do is upgrade the enchantments I have. And to improve the enchantments, we need levels. And uh, here's the big problem. It's really hard to get enough levels at the start of the game, but I don't know if you remember in the first or second episode, not, not very sure, we found a skeleton spawner, which is awesome, especially at the start of the game. Later on it won't be as useful, but at the beginning it's a great initial source of XP and other resources. So let's head over to that spawner, and meanwhile, you can see all the areas I've already mined and explored. Super safe, very comfortable, especially for a hardcore game. Anyway, we're approaching that spawner. I've done a little work on it, just a bit. Nothing major, as you can see. I just developed little of how it would work. So let's go just to explain to you Here's the spawner, no secrets. The idea is to place a bucket of water here, a bucket of water here, and a bucket of water here. These buckets will push the skeletons to this block, exactly to this spot here. Then they'll fall and here we have a bedrock block, which is a problem. The spawner is very low and it doesn't allow us to make a nice fall that would give the skeletons fall damage. Well, the water will push them, push them, push them to here. They'll stay here, pushed by the water, and I'll be standing right here, farming them. So that's the idea. It's quite simple. We could even improve the system and uh, make it ultra high-tech, but skeleton farms aren't very efficient in the long run. It's just an early game solution, so I don't see much need to spend a lot of time on it. It's rudimentary, but it's a good way to get what we need at the moment. So let's prepare this spawner to farm some skeletons. I came prepared, so I'll be back with the final result. All right, our structure here is almost done. Actually, we can consider it functional now, right? just need to remove these torches, but before that, let me show you how it works. So, skeleton spawns here, falls into the water, and the current pushes it to the final trench. Making its way, it floats down to the spot where I'll be, or rather I'll be on the other side. And, well, you know the rest. Super, super simple. Nothing revolutionary, but it meets our needs. No secrets. And this is the entrance to our super ultra advanced XP and bones system. Yeah, this is the easiest part. Building this structure doesn't require any advanced knowledge. Now we move on to the hard part, which is activating the spawner. And I've already started well by placing the first block wrong. What's the challenge now? The challenge now is to reactivate this spawner without being farmed by the skeletons. I hope I can do it. So, first, I'll remove this this torch here. Very carefully. Now this one here. And this one too. Let's step back a bit. Removing the torch on top. And to finish without any trauma. And oh, they spawned. But alright. Mission accomplished. Everything went well. Let's seal this up like nothing's happening inside. And let's see the moment of truth. Alright, let's go. 
Our friends are already in the area, and now it's time to sharpen our sword on these bones. And done. We've got experience, bones, arrows, bows, everything we need. Oops, I'm taking damage here. Ah, uh, they can see me through this gap. No problem. I'll place a slab, and the situation will be resolved. The last thing I need is for my hardcore series to end because of a skeleton farm. All right, dudes. Everything's sorted. All under control. Now I'm going to hang out here for a bit, and I'll be back soon. Okay, I think that's it, folks. Level 30. It's time to make some upgrades. Should I upgrade my armor or go for a sword with looting? If this were a survival series, the choice would be easier, but in hardcore, sometimes it's better to trade efficiency for safety. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Yeah, I'd say we didn't have much luck this time. Neither with the sword nor the chest armor. Uh, the sword is giving me knockback, which isn't that great. And uh, the chest armor has thorns, which is also far from grand. We got pretty unlucky with these combos. The sword at level 2 has Bane of Arthropods, which is also bad, and at level 1, Sharpness, which is the most interesting. I didn't like any of them. So, let's go with plan B. B for Boots. Hmm, Depth Strider 3, not bad. Feather Falling, that's a good one, especially in Hardcore, where a fall can be game over. Even though it's just level 1, any help is welcome. Now, on the Armor Unbreaking 3, interesting, and on the Sword, Bane of Arthropods 5, no thanks. Okay, we're having small upgrades on our armor. That's what matters. We're still far from having the best set in the world, but at least we're looking stylish and covered in diamonds. Now, I'm going back to the farm to get back to level 30, make some more upgrades, and then we'll see the results. I'm back. I did some upgrades, nothing major, didn't have the patience to farm skeletons for a million levels, so I just did the basics. Just to update you guys, my set looks like this. Not too much, but honest work. Speaking of honest work, it's time to upgrade our base. Last episode, we built a useless palm tree. Today, the goal is to finish the terraforming and start the foundation of our future house. So let's jump into our time lapse hyperfunk mode. <laughs> gentlemen. Now we have much more than a palm tree. We also have a stair to nowhere. That's right. It might seem like nothing, but believe me, it took a lot of time to finish this terraforming and foundation for our house. I had to use practically all the sand I had, and just for this humble stair, it took a good amount of wood 
Sometimes I wonder how it's possible for those episodes where someone in hardcore already does a full transformation in the end dimension with just two episodes of the series. Well, maybe we know how. Anyway, speaking of the end dimension, I think it's finally time for the long-awaited moment to go to the nether. A few episodes ago, we found a portal and that's where we're heading. I need some resources that can only be found there and they will be used for our base. So let's go to the portal. Dudes, the time has come. Let's fire up this portal. I've got everything I need. I'm gonna light it up and I'll see you on the other side. Next episode, I'll be back to tell you how it went. Wish me luck, because we all know the best way to end a hardcore series is with a guest in the nether. Well, don't forget to smash that like button and see you next time.